welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to share with you my 2018 resolutions. I was tagged to do this video by Candy from Cotton by Candy um, and I thought it was a really great way to look back at the year that's been and also look ahead to um, this year and see what kind of sewing I want to be doing and all that sort of thing. Um, so I think it's a joy collaboration between Candy and Boz from A Girl Called Boz. Um, so I will link both of their channels down below for you so you can go and check out their videos. Um, I'm actually pre-filming this video so this is has been filmed in 2017 to go up in 2018. We're actually um, going away or are away by the time this video goes up so um, yeah I really wanted to get this video up for you guys. Um, so there are five questions that the girls have come up with, um, a couple of them based on um, 2017 and a few of them also based on 2018. So I'm going to jump right into the video. Um, so apologies with me looking down but I have the questions on my phone and I've also written a few little notes um, as well so I'll be referring to those throughout the video. So the first question is, what is your favourite make of 2017 and why? This is actually a way harder question than what I thought because I do have um, quite a few makes that I really love um, and so to choose just one was really hard. Um, there were so many that I could have chosen but I ended up going with my um, recent, a recent make which is my Lemon um, Clemency skirt from Tilly and the Buttons. I think for me this make was a step in the right dire direction towards the handmade wardrobe that I want. Um, so when I made this skirt I knew that I was going to be leaving my 9 to 5 um, and working from home so it's kind of the perfect skirt for that um, and I just feel like it's such an awesome wardrobe staple and you could make it in just plain or prints like I did um, and it's a really really quick and easy make and something that's like so easy to add into your wardrobe. But yeah, so I just feel like it's a really really simple piece of clothing and it has pockets so honestly how could you go wrong? Um, and I also love the print so I do often go for like florally type prints and the lemons was a little bit out of my comfort zone. I ummed and out about that fabric for ages before I finally purchased some. And I'm glad that I did because I love them and I feel like I definitely want to add some more fun prints like that into my wardrobe as well. So for me it was a really good um, transitioning into the wardrobe that I really want piece which I think um, is really cool and something I want to add more of into my wardrobe this year. Question 2 is what did you attempt in 2017 that you won't be attempting next year? Why not? Um, I've thought about this question for ages and I actually couldn't come up with anything. Um, I'm not entirely sure there was anything that I attempted sewing wise in 2017 that I wouldn't try again in 2018. Um, I think sewing is always a learning curve and if something doesn't work the first time um, I'm not necessarily going to give up on it straight away. Um, so yeah, I really don't have an answer for that question. Um, I did have a really long think about it and there's probably something that I've missed or probably something I'll think of once I've finished filming this video. but. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure that I did anything that was too out of my comfort zone or too, um, that didn't work out, like, there were things that didn't work out but nothing that would put me off trying it again, so yeah, I didn't have an answer to that question. Question three is, what are you going to continue doing? Um, so one of the major things that I started doing this year, um, or have started doing since I've been filming these vlogs as well, is planning my sewing in advance, and I think that is just such an awesome way to be productive um, and stay on track with your makes as well. Obviously it's okay to add a few in every now and again but I think when you do that too often you can lose sight of what you're aiming for with your handmade wardrobe and so having planned makes um, really brings that back into focus. Um, and batch cutting projects. I started doing this back in April and since then Oh my gosh, it just makes my sewing so much easier. This year I haven't had a lot of sewing time, um, or the second half of the year especially, and so just having the projects already cut out ready to go was so much better because I could just grab a bag and just start making that project and I didn't have to worry about the whole sticking of the PDF and doing all of that stuff. So um, batch sewing, uh, batch cutting, I'm sorry, and planning my projects in advance is definitely something I'm going to continue doing into 2018. Question four is what is something you want to try next year? 
Um, I think one of the major things I really want to try and do in, well, this year, um, in 2018 is keep my vlogs and my blogs consistent throughout the year. Um, I will have way more time for that this year and so I will be making sure I plan all of that into my schedule. Uh, but I really miss uploading every week for my vlogs and I do really love taking photos and writing my blog posts so it's something I really want to concentrate more on in 2018 um, and being way more consistent with. Obviously I'm not going to be able to upload every single Sunday um, but if I could do it for the majority of Sundays I'll be really happy uh, and I think that it's a really great way to connect with the sewing community and I love making these videos for you guys so it's something I definitely want to work on for 2018. In terms of sewing um, um, like actual um, patterns and everything and um, there's a few things that I want to do this year bathers lingerie coats I think that's all I have on there um, which is really handy because so my style um, which I'm coordinating this year has got lingerie and coats in there um, and I have just purchased the perfect swimwear pattern hopefully um, so yeah I'm really excited to give those things a go um, I think doing it through So My Style is great because I kind of, well, I don't have to make them, but I'm coordinating it, so I really do need to at least give it a go. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to those months of So My Style. And the other thing that I really want to continue doing, as I sort of spoke about in my, um, in the second question, um, is to make things that are more consistent with my style. So obviously working from home this year, I'm not going to have to wear all of my work where I did a massive wardrobe clean out. Um, and I will be doing a um, video on um, filling the gaps in my wardrobe as well um, at some point in the next couple of months. Uh, but yeah, I really just want to keep consistent with that and just be true to my style. So if I want to wear a flowy floral skirt, like just make a flowy floral skirt. You know, like I, I don't want to be constrained to thinking, oh, I've got too many prints or too much of this, too much of that. I want to yeah, be true to my own style and really hone in on that this year. Uh, so the last question is, where do you see your handmade wardrobe by the end of next year and what about in five years? Um, so in terms of the end of 2018, I'd really like to see my wardrobe having um, sort of more capsule pieces that can be paired with things. Um, so obviously I want to keep it to my style, as I said in the last question, uh, but I do want to have stuff that I can mix and match. So I'm planning on doing a lot more separates. Um, I don't have that many dresses anyway, but I think separates are great because you can make so many different outfits from them. Um, and having pieces that can go together, um, I think will be really great. That's something that we kind of were looking at when we chose the pants for So My Style because we wanted to choose lots of different um, types of patterns so that by the end of the year you might, um, if you're coordinating them enough, have a little capsule wardrobe to go with it. So that's kind of my plans for So My Style this year is to um, keep them sort of consistent so that I can mix and match the pieces together, uh, which I think is a really cool idea and something that, again, makes your wardrobe feel a lot bigger even if you don't have as many pieces in there. And obviously I want to have as many things handmade as I can, so I will be trying bras and stuff this year, but there will be things that I won't be able to make. Um, and that's okay but if I can aim for you know a mostly handmade wardrobe by the end of 2018 I'll be pretty happy with that. In terms of the five-year plan for my handmade wardrobe it's sort of the same uh, by then I would hope that it would be you know 99% handmade or upcycled um, from op shop things because I do that a little bit as well uh, but I'd also like to start making a few more handmade things for other people so I wouldn't mind making a few things for Kenneth um, and Hopefully by then we might have at least one or two kids, so I would hope that I would be making some things for them, not everything. Um, and also a few more handmade gifts. Um, I did do a few this year, which is really great, but i definitely like to up my game on that as well for um, the next few years. So there are my answers. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was really nice to be able to look back at 2017 and also to look forward um, for 2018 and beyond for your sewing. Sometimes, um, like uh, Candy said in her video, you can get quite bogged down with the what are you going to be sewing each month thing as opposed to where is this going to be taking me in the future with my handmade wardrobe. So I think it's a really cool idea. So in terms of tagging people, I'm not going to tag anyone specifically but if you want to be involved please do this is a really great um, little way to get to know some people in the sewing community who you might not already 
Um, so yeah, I will leave the links to Candy and Boz's videos below as well. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!